It's not too much to say that the specter of MS-13 haunts America. They're this country's deadliest gang, with more than 10,000 members in the U.S. and thousands more abroad, mostly in Central America. They're active almost everywhere in the country, with hot spots in New York and California. They've been especially deadly in Suffolk County, New York, out in Long Island, where they've been blamed for 15 murders in just the past 16 months. Their motto in Spanish translates as rape, kill, control. Pretty straightforward. Luis Salinas is a professor at the University of Houston and an expert on MS-13. He has criticized the Trump administration and the attorney general in particular for, quote, demonizing the gang and exaggerating the threat they pose. Professor Salinas joins us tonight. Professor, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me, Colton. Um, so in what sense is the administration being too mean to MS-13? I... When I used the word demonized before, I said that's, that's sending the wrong message because I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to protect or excuse any of their actions. All I was trying to do is strike a balanced pose where, while they're guilty of some horrific crimes, right. um, they're not guilty of some of the other things that they have been accused of. And my position was, you know, um, for example, uh, they, um, they accused them of being a cartel. They're not okay. a cartel. They're not disorganized. They're not organized enough. They have too many young members. They don't have enough resources to be able to put off what the cartels, what the cartels do. They're not the, the Sinaloa cartel or a Zeta. So they're right. not a cartel. They're not drug importers. And uh, it, it seems like... But, they, but, but the, they are drug dealers, though, right? That is correct. They're distributing at the very local level. These are not very well-educated, poor individuals who kind of hang out on corners selling drugs. Okay, so That's, I just want to see if I have this straight. So they, they murder people with machetes, they sell children into prostitution, and they deal drugs in poor communities. In what sense are they being, quote, demonized? I mean, like, well, what's the upside of MS-13? Okay, as in, I'm not saying there's an upside. What I'm okay. saying is that our attorney general should be more accurate in what he accuses him of. He accused them of being in a cartel, and they weren't doing that. Well, he accused if I, if I them, can, it's um, not my, hold on, it's not my job to defend the attorney general's description, but a cartel doesn't just refer okay. to people, to, to drug distribution or drug importation. It can be any group of people who are coming together for an illegal purpose or who have a monopoly in an area. I think that's the, the definition. That's not the way it's generally used, but um, that was my, my issue with him. Uh, are they in, uh, I think why they're front and center and being called America's you know, public enemy number one, which when you have that title, you're going to call a lot of attention to this group from all okay. over. And the reason they've been named that is because of the horrific way that they like to kill people. Yes, I'm saying it. They kill people. They don't like to <laughs> shoot somebody I'm glad because we're hacking that. them to death. <laughs> Okay. Right, but hacking them with a machete leaves uh -huh. a much more gruesome uh, right. picture, and so they're more feared in the community. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to be patient, and I'm trying to understand what you're saying, and I don't want to be a demagogue about this, but when you say the administration is in the wrong because they're, quote, demonizing a group that murders children with machetes and sells them into prostitution and sells addictive drugs, it's kind of hard to see how you can demonize a group like that if you see what I'm saying. I do, actually. And that's why I've said before that I withdrew my use of the word demonizing and that right. I said that what, the, uh, what this administration, particularly the attorney general, should use their words very carefully when they're talking about this group well, so about the things that they accuse him of. It sounds like you're the one who should use his words more carefully since you're the one who withdrew your statement. But let me ask you this. Immigration, I think, is coloring this debate. And people who don't think we ought to be enforcing immigration laws, who are in favor of, for example, sanctuary cities, are in effect defending MS-13 because, according to the most recent numbers, the overwhelming majority of MS-13 members arrested were here illegally. And so they don't want in any way to make illegal immigration look like a bad thing, so they're embarrassed that the Trump people are highlighting MS-13. That's what I think is going on. Would you agree? I, let me put it this way. Um, these are official federal figures. Um, ICE deported like 114,000 people in the last fiscal year. Of those, like 429, less than half of 1 percent were gang members. Right. So simple deportations is not a very effective way of getting gang members. So, wait, you know, on, wait, let's wait, stop, not... wait, stop, stop, stop. 
There are over 10 million people here illegally. We deported a little over 100,000, you just said, but a small percentage were gang members. So that means deportation doesn't work? No. Maybe we should deport the gang members. Right? I mean, that, what you just said does not prove the argument you're attempting to make or even come close to it. Actually, what I'm saying is, let me rephrase it for you. What I'm saying is that we focus on these massive uh, deportations, and these massive deportations tend to carry very few uh, members of gangs in them, less than half of 1%. Okay, so it's so reasonable. So what I'm saying, it's instead of massive... Okay. Why don't we just deport Instead every MS-13 using... member who's not a citizen? It's really simple. That's what the Justice Department is saying. I think most people would say, yeah, that's a good idea. These people are horrible. They're machete killers. Like, again, not to put too fine a point on it, but let's deport everyone. I'm, every, I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah, okay, good. I'm well, not then... disagreeing. The only question is, how do you do that? I don't know. Every time you arrest one who's not a citizen, you deport him, like, immediately. Sorry, El Salvador, you've got to take this guy back. What's wrong with that? And wh what makes you think that doesn't happen? Well, what's you just happening said it is that happen, that's why. <laughs> okay, we're out of time, Professor. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to answer what you were saying, but I appreciate your coming on. Anyway, thank you very much.